Gosh, you guys, it's so cute. <laughs> Literally, Jace has just found this logo up here that's obviously really black and white, black and white and yellow. It's really bright. And on this car journey, he keeps popping his head up to look at it. So cute. Where's the logo? Where is it? Up there. <laughs> oh my god, that's so, it's so funny. cute. What's that? <laughs> Look at him. It's a very quick good morning from us this morning as we are actually running late. We're on our way to Isabel's therapy session and the traffic is ridiculous. We found Pekinesme up this morning from her sleepover last night. It's at standstill the way that I'd usually go to get there and it's just crazy. So we're having to go a different way around, which is a super long way and it means we're likely to be late so i need to get off because we need petrol we've just pulled up at the petrol station and then we're going to go we'll pick back up with you guys once we've finished do those chicken fingers taste nice do those chicken fingers taste good you know you can always just put a dummy in but you won't yeah, do that will juicy you sausage fingers. juicy sausage fingers instead <laughs> yum, yum oh 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 maybe we try the dummy yeah he hates the dummy. <laughs> so Isabel's session is all done and as we're in Ilkley and it's such a nice day today and when I say nice day I mean it's not bright sunny burning your eyeballs for Jace but it's just nice and warm out. Well, you don't need a coat. Not too. Right? There is actually yeah, a big grey <laughs> cloud of bubbles. But it's a nice day for a picnic and there's a really nice park here in Ilkley so I thought it might be nice to grab a picnic and head down towards the river and the park. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Isla's found something. What have you found? Free, free fruit. Is that actually? I think you just get one. Is it actually? Yes. So help yourself. What's up guys? So I am on a skate filming day today, which is super, super fun. The weather's holding out for us right now. Although the clouds look super threatening today. So fingers crossed, the rain's gonna stay away and we're gonna have a full day of it. I picked up the boys at the train station about an hour ago now. We went to a warm up spot and now we've just packed up in Leeds city center where we're gonna spend the rest of the day. Hopefully get a lot of really cool things filmed today. On the skates, of course. All for my big blade project that you guys hear so much about, but yet to see anything from, but trust me, me. it's coming I'm really hoping to get this done for around my birthday time maybe the week after at the latest I'm not sure but it's going well so fingers crossed it's gonna to continue to go well I'm gonna get the last bits filmed and it's gonna be ready for you guys to see man it's so so beautiful down here I love the Clarence Dock area in Leeds it's just gorgeous and one day one day I will persuade Sarah to come and live on one of those with me for a while that'd be so much fun comment below if you think we should do that we should go on a countrywide canal tour I think we should. Jace, do you want some free fruit? Because if you do, Mummy will have to eat it for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? You're on the edge, aren't you, darling? Oh no. Don't know if to smile or cry. What are you looking at, Wizzle? I thought we could get some coleslaw on our way. Coleslaw? We don't really have like, forks and things. Maybe we could get some hummus and some like pita bread. I don't yeah. like hummus. You don't like it, do you? I oh, know hummus is horrible, though. I love hummus. Looks like I'm solo eating hummus and pickle, uh, hummus and <laughs> pizza bread then. Esme and me then, let's what what decide which one to get. I'm a bit of a plain Jane and just like the original. The seeded ones are good. You girls are so boring. Seeded yeah, ones seeded are delicious. Ones. No, I'm only joking, is it? You get okay. which one you girls like. Get the breadstick ones. Okay, we've got breadsticks, dip. The oranges. You got your orange. I was just about to say, I'll jump off, it's too heavy to push. Okay, Isabel's found on the reduced section. I think you have to cook them, but still, are they look cauliflower sweet bites. Sweet and country, sweet and crunchy cauliflower bites. Cauliflower bites, I bet you can eat them. Do you reckon you can eat them like Check that? Them uh, no, I definitely cook them, definitely, I think. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we're getting everyone's favourite, including one or two mine. Mine. Just one. Two. <laughs> I love green beans. <laughs> not green beans, the sugar snaps, silly Billy. So we've got sugar snaps, Grapes, dips, breadsticks. What about like a pasta pot? Do you like those really nice cold pastas maybe? Yeah, like a tuna pasta. Something like that. No, I can't eat cold pasta. <gasps> <laughs> My mum was like that. She could eat pasta until it was literally coming out of her ears, but she couldn't eat cold pasta at all. Comment down below if you're the same. If you like pasta, but you only like it hot or cold, or do you like both? I like both. What 
on a white chocolate cocoa pot. I don't know how to try those. Oh my gosh, they sound absolutely. Esme's not impressed. Isla's feeling. Oh my. <laughs> Isla's loving life. Isabel's not sure. No, but like I don't buy the chocolate ones on the dark. Don't you? Ones. Oh my gosh, they look delicious. I bet you anything. They'll just take like, taste like the original. Ones. They are. Do you reckon so? We'll just get a box. Get a box. We'll try them. Actually, these are the call sensations because they're, all the flavors are actually so nice. And the call sensations because the flavors are nice. Yeah. They just go for your sensations. Yes. Okay. One pack. Oh my gosh, we're at the cake section. Everyone's throwing their cake choices at me. Those are, are they, how much are those? They're half the, the, price. The, 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 the one pound. One pound fifteen, half price. So we can get those. Ooh, <laughs> so because Isabel and Isla, Isabel and Esme even, chose some biscuit or cake choices, we're going to let Isla choose some. And I knew what she'd go for because these are her favourite. Little Incy Bincy mini donuts. <laughs> Shove them in them. It's a no, is he? It, it's a no. I just try it it, it's a no. Oh, <laughs> the littlest bit of makeup section you could possibly see, and Isabel's straight there. Okay, but we've come down here. What for, Esme? Cough sweets because Esme's got a bit of a soft throat still. We bought her some yesterday to take to a sleepover, and what did you do? I left them. She left them at the sleepover. So we're just going to get some more. Which ones are you going for? Soothers. Yeah. These are my favourite sweets that I like to eat every day. Well, these are my favourite cough sweets because you can get proper tablet kind of ones. I don't really like them. They haven't got proper red, I mean, they're just like these, but they come in like a tablet wrapper. And there's also that ones that are actually really spicy. Oh, I know what you mean. You mean soothers or no, not soothers. Um, what they're called? Throaties or something? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what they called that come in like that packet and you pop one out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. Okay. Now onto the drink section. What are you girls choosing? White grape and blackberry and fruit water. I think that's it. I don't know. Orange and mango. Delicious. Everybody in my family, literally everybody, pronounces raspberry as a raspberry. Raspberry, except me, <laughs> who pronounces it raspberry. And I think I'm right because that's how it's spelled. But Chris and the girls are adamant that it's raspberry. And it really winds me up every time they say, Should we get some raspberries? I'm like, We can't get raspberries, but we can get raspberries. Yeah, but you're changing the S to a Z, which means it's not silent. Well, what about. If it's a silent S, it should be raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so we just came to the sweetie aisle to pick up a treat before we left and the girls all went for the exact same thing I so stand up. I know we all went for the same thing from this section here which do you think the girls went for they all chose independently the same thing so I said they can have anything from here comment down below and let me know what you think they chose when we get to the park I will let you guys know that answer I think we're pretty much done though now girls right yeah. we have everything for our picnic plus a few little essentials some washing powder and cereal etc etc Esme that's so pretty you look amazing <laughs> <laughs> okay girls time to choose though we're choose. popping our tokens I you have to choose Kansas Park for West Yorkshire yeah. Why do we all do different? Then we all get to give a little bit to eat. Yeah, because they're all such good charities. Yeah. Feeding hunger kids in the holidays, improving end of life care, and cancer support. So we just got to Wilkley Park. I'm either being really lazy or slightly clever. Can't really work out which, but I've got Jace in the sling because he falls asleep in here really well and he'll sleep for a while. I've also brought the pram. I'm trying to tell myself it's because he might wake up and he, if he does wake up, I'll be able to pop him in the pram. But actually, it's just so that you can carry the picnic <laughs> and I don't have to carry it. But those bags are heavy, especially because the girls all got themselves those big bottles of uh, water and I don't fancy carrying that. It's quite a walk from the car to the picnic place that we're going to. So I've got Jason this thing. Izzy's pushing the pram like a big girl for me, like a big girl, <laughs> like a good girl. And we're going to go and have some nice fun. Isabel, tell the camera what just happened. No, Mum, I want to cry. I was literally just eating under the green pea. If Esme didn't tell me to do this, I would have eaten it. She said, Isabel, you know you actually meant to cut it down the middle? 
And so, because I was just eating it, and there's like a tiny bit left. She's like, it's me, let's put it down the middle. So I put it down the middle and open, open it. Open it, show what you found. Oh my god, I think it's alive as well. There's a moldy caterpillar in there, and there's literally mold on it. But hold it up, I can't see. <laughs> Isabel was just about to eat. Oh, look how much peas I was away from eating it, Mum. You ate all the rest, and you were just about to pop that whole thing in your look, mouth. Look, Mum, it was literally like that big, and I nearly ate it. I literally ate half of it, and then I nearly ate that. What if there's more caterpillars in If Esme hadn't have just said, you meant to cut it down the middle, she would have oh. eaten that. Guys, don't buy sugar snaps. I've just bought Tesco. two bags of those, and I'm not eating those now. <laughs> Esme's put off forever, because that's just that's her. That's because Esme, before we even opened them, Esme looked at them really weird, like, and I was like, what's wrong? She's like, nothing, nothing's wrong with them, and I was like, it's Whoa. like you kind of had a sixth sense that there was caterpillar in the green beans. I can't believe I've probably even eaten one. I've probably eaten two in there and I've probably eaten one of them already. I've probably eaten his best friend. You've just ate the caterpillar's best mate, is it? <laughs> I know sometimes you can't help little insects getting like inside vegetables, etc, etc. That is definitely enough to put me off eating those without checking every single one from now on. No, whenever I'm splitting them open. I'm not from now on I'm opening anymore. every single one before, <laughs> before I took into those. And I can easily sit and go through like half a bag of those because yeah. I love them so much. Yeah. The girls are going safe. They are in breadsticks We're instead. Dip out as well. They're in breadsticks I'm instead. Just There's no caterpillar in this. <laughs> That's why you guys, when you come out for a picnic, don't ever try to be healthy and pick the nice fresh foods. Stick to breadsticks. Oh, donuts. So when we were in at Tesco's, we told you guys we would let you know or oh, really flash the packet or oh, what sweets we decided to get. So we went for Rain Bell Drops! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy girl. <laughs> they went I for used, rainbow drops. I used to say I hated these. Oh no. Because oh I never God. ever tried them before, so I just sort of hated them. Oh, well, that's a bit well, silly, that's a bit silly as me. I did the same thing with kiwi. You did do the same thing. I, I was did. like, I hate kiwi. Blech, blech. I was, and, then I said, and then I said, Esme, have you even tried kiwi and before? Nuts. And, I go, and she said, no. And, and I was like, nuts. taste it. And she actually likes kiwi. And nuts. And nuts, yeah. But she doesn't like nuts, do you? Mm. Like peanuts or anything. But they do all really love rainbow drops. <laughs> they're so good. I, a, I know a lot of people who don't like them. And I'm like, yeah, I know a lot of people that don't like them. Like, Comment down below, guys. Do you like rainbow drops? I kind of feel like they're a retro sweet. They've so been around good. for like just ever. Look at them, though. I know. They're just colourful. Personally, I think you all chose them just for one reason. That it's a really big bag for really cheap money. Well, I know, but as well, <laughs> the only thing that I'd say was wrong with rainbow drops it says here, look at all the rainbow. Oh dear. We only get yellow, pink, orange and green in it. But where my, where my, oh dear, where Isabel. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, where's all that? Oh gone? dear, Isabel. What happened? <laughs> just gone off to play down on the park it is really really busy down there though so I'm just going to stay sat here just a little bit further up on a bench with Jace who's fast asleep the girls are literally just there so they're all together and having a nice play before we have a wander back to the car oh he's moving around little word there are some dark, dark clouds in the sky, so I think it might rain in a little bit. Hopefully the girls will get a chance to have a little play. I still cannot stop thinking about how close Isabel was to eating that caterpillar. Oh, it's literally put me off eating sugar snap peas so, so, so much. I know it's not actually Tesco's fault for the fact that there was a caterpillar in there obviously tesco's can't literally open every single sugar snap pea to make sure no creepy crawlies have fallen inside and to be honest it's probably a positive to come from it is that the sugar snap peas are obviously fresh and organic and are not full of poisons and nasties so i guess that's a good thing to think about but still oh it's definitely enough to put me off sugar snap peas turn my stomach so bad
we just stopped under this really cute tree here to get some cute Instagram snaps for Isabel's and my own personal Instagrams. If you're not following us, make sure you are because we're always uploading pictures and stories, etc, etc on there. And I just actually uploaded to my story a couple of Instagram fails that were really quite hilarious. <laughs> Picture fails. So head on over there and check us out. Right now we're going to head back to the car. Well, little man, you missed the swings, the slide, the eating of a caterpillar, feeding the ducks. Just got back to the car and I'm gonna have to wake you up now <laughs> because he's still fast asleep. This sling is literally my life. <laughs> we were gifted this just after James was born. It's the Kaboo, Kaboo Light, I think it's called. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad because I would never have thought to buy this and I've used it all the time and it's so comfortable in here so soft and so comfy and I hate waking him up when he's asleep it's just the same he doesn't feel the same way about waking me up when I'm asleep I can't believe you went for it. <laughs> that was amazing, man. Almost, you were like a millimeter, if that, off your soul plate. And again. It looks faster. Oof. Man, this is what it's all about. Just to put this in perspective, this is a ledge, a scary ledge, with a rail on the edge of it, with hardly anything to grab hold of on your skates. Right, just one minute. Yep. What do you reckon to fishy instead? No. no. Come on, dude. Come on. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Oh my goodness, what an absolutely awesome day today has been. I'm literally just back at the car. I've just packed all the skates and camera equipment away and I'm thoroughly ready for a shower and bed. <laughs> Not only, obviously, you're skating at a spot, so you're constantly going around and, and doing tricks and, um, and redoing tricks when you don't hit them and um, yeah, just trying to get them perfect, but you're also skating between spots, so skating to spots and stuff. Oh my goodness, and your feet and your legs and you're back at the end of a session, absolutely kill. For all of you women out there, and men, that love a toned thigh and bum, rollerblading is the best sport to do to tone your legs and bum. Just a Chris's interesting fact of the week for you there. So if you want to do that, take up rollerblading, because it's well worth it. Anyways, as you can see, I am sweating beyond belief. It is currently quarter to nine. I'm going to head home, hopefully get back just in time for Love Island tonight, and then I'm going to get a shower and crash. But today's been a really good day. I'm looking forward to going back and having a look at some of the clips I've got today. I'm one step closer to being able to put this video out for you guys that I've been rabbiting on about for, it feels like, years now. Anyways, I'm about to get myself home. Watch Love Island, catch up with the family, see Jace and the girls, and then get myself a shower and get to bed. Oh my gosh, guys, we're just in Granny and Grandpa's right now. Looking at old videos. Look how young they look. Oh my gosh, guys, they're so tiny. You and Isabel should definitely do a recreating our old cringy videos vlog. Even though they're not cringy, they're so cute. Esme's laughs exactly the same. <laughs> Thank you to mummy. No hat. <laughs> so we just arrived back home, you guys. Yeah. Esme. <laughs> Esme just said that was the most evil laugh ever. Esme just had a drama. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa gave her a bottle of <coughs> Benelin because, as you can hear, Esme's got a bit of a sore throat and a cough and. She's just not been feeling great. So Granny and Grandpa gave her some Benelin and she just said, can you give me some in a, like a syringe? So I gave her some, 
Put the whole syringe full in her mouth. Yeah, I not swallow it. I she stood I there. I that much. Not even Esme, you spat it all out. She stood there for literally 10 minutes saying I can't, I can't do it. I was trying to do everything to get her to swallow it. It was like syrup. She couldn't do it. a little spice and a little She couldn't do it. And a bit of treacle, caramel, Look at them sleepy coffee. eyes. She couldn't do it the eyes, so the minute that she said, she spat it into the sink and went, <gasps> that is gross. Send that back to Granny. Granny's going crazy. Granny's going crazy in the garden. Right, guys, so I think we're going to end the vlog here because we are just going to get this one into bed. You feel really hot, actually, Ez. Do you feel cold or hot? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm maybe hot. it's just. I, I actually am hot. Ah, oh, that's all. That's yeah, all good then. Yeah. Because yeah, Daddy's gonna be home soon. I've actually missed Chris loads today. I feel like I haven't seen him for like. Yeah, as my son, I feel like I've not seen Daddy for ages because you slept out last night as well, didn't you? And you only saw him briefly this morning. But even though he's out a lot lately, and we do miss him a lot, he's able. He's been able to do something <coughs> that he's always, always dreamed of doing. <coughs> And part of it's doing that, part of it's working, doing some shooting and filming things. But it's something he's always, always wanted to do and we're really, really happy for him and happy that he's able to do something yeah. that he's dreamed of doing his whole life. Dream, you can dream. And he won't be doing it for much longer because he's almost finished, which is awesome. But yeah, it's time to say goodnight, guys. You want to go get yourself ready for bed, little Lila? You can give pretty a treat in a moment. Isla has mixed emotions tonight. She's had a few tears today, haven't you? Yeah. Because she's back at school tomorrow and she's... Really tired. She's really tired, but she's back at school tomorrow despite the girls having broken up for summer already, Isabel and Esme. And usually Isla doesn't mind. She just goes off to school. But like, geez. she doesn't mind. But I think a mixture of the sleepless night that she had last night, not really sleepless, but she slept with Isabel. She, she went to bed later than usual. And the fact that Eva, her best friend from school, has left now, so she's already feeling a little bit tender about school, etc, etc. And the fact that we're all off and going to be at home for the rest, the next two weeks. And she still has to go to school. I think she's just feeling a little bit down about that. But she's going and she'll be okay once she gets there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We've got Jace's injections tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to at all. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.